Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Sylvia and if you are looking to improve your life, your business, relationships or even performance, this is the right place to be. Today we are going to talk about self-confidence, how to build it and how to sustain it in the long term. Because I believe this is what we want. We want to be confident not only during the presentation, not only during that difficult conversation, we want to be self-confident every day. And so I have three areas I would like to share with you that you can explore, test and see how you are doing in these in your lives. The first one is your thought. So mastering your thoughts is a key in order to build and sustain your self-confidence. And what I mean by that is really to look at the pattern your um, beliefs are formed. So uh, you have probably heard about what you believe in is forming your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your emotions and your emotions then have an impact on how you behave and what you do, what you don't do and then what you have uh, in your life. So by being aware of what you think during the day is having a massive impact on your self-confidence. There are certain ways you can improve the self-confidence and um, your thoughts. And I would start with uh, what works for me. So I will say meditation. I meditate twice per day. You can also pray um, if meditation is not for you. Then the other part is journaling or writing a diary where you really put the thoughts down on a piece of paper and then you basically free up the space uh, in your mind. Another way is also setting the reminders during the day so that uh, you are aware, you're checking really with yourself, you know, how you feel and what you think. The second area is about your subconscious mind. So you may probably heard that um, 95 to 97% of your thoughts are run by your subconscious mind. That's something, for example, you don't think about um, how to brush your teeth or whether to put the left sock first or the right sock or how to get um, to work. It's basically autopilot. It's running on autopilot. It's automated. And so if we want to build more self-confidence, we need to be aware, first of all, of the self, uh, subconscious mind about the thoughts, about the software, really, that is running in the background. And then reprogram it so that it's in alignment with what you want in your life. There are certain techniques, approaches that you can try, and I will put the resources uh, below uh, the video. And the last area is courage. Courage is very important in building self-confidence because it's about creating, building skills. It's about actions during um, uh, doing every day. It's about fear of rejection. So you don't, want, um, so you take those actions. You are not really feeling the rejection, um, which is deeply rooted in us. Um, at the same time, the fear, the, the, I mean, the fear of rejection. At the same time, the society we live in has improved in so many ways that the fear of rejection is many times inadequate to the consequences that we have, uh, which we, we can cause by the actions. So um, speaking up, Expressing your thoughts, expressing your feelings will definitely give you more self-confidence in the long term. So I hope that this helps. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Um, you can also subscribe to my B-Weekly newsletter on my website, sylviefrancisti.com. And uh, I hope, to, um, hope you find this uh, video useful. Be better, be the best you can be on your new and better life journey.